Hello all you beautiful gamers out there and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online character creation where I'll be showing you step by step how I made my beautiful character Lady Valserin. She's based off of Valserin from Somerset. Let's go ahead and get started guys. As you can see she's wearing all her Sigit clothes but we're going to take those off. We want her completely natural in the nude so everyone can get a look at her. So she's of course female so there's that. Here's where I put her body type. And feel free to make adjustments as you guys see fit. Don't have to make her exactly how I made her. But if you want to, go ahead and follow every step. Here we have her height, which you guys can adjust. Make her any size you want. This is just the size I feel like is most accurate. Her skin color, body markings, torso size, chest size, her gut size, waist size, arm size, hand size, hip size, posterior dimensions, leg size, and her foot size. On to head type. I think her face is more angular, but guys, feel free to make adjustments. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but I think she looks great just like this with the angular and a little bit of soft. Here's her age, and the reason I have it so high is because in-game her face will actually start to soften, whereas in character creation it's very wrinkly. So keep that in mind when you're making your characters an older character, that once you get your character in-game it really softens the face. So just use your best judgment with that or just copy the age I used. And you can make her hair however you want because her hair is actually a crown sore item that's currently available and I recommend purchasing it. But otherwise she looks good with any hairstyle, but right now I like... I really like the long hair because she puts it up in a bun naturally, so I thought the long hair would be perfect. Here's the hair color I'm using. No head markings, forehead slope, cheekbone size, cheekbone height, jaw size, chin height, chin size, neck size, ear size, which I love all my elves to have really big, pointy, beautiful ears that you can see from a distance. I love it ear rotation, ear height, ear flare. And again, guys, feel free to make adjustments, make this character however you want or copy it exact. All right, on to voice. And I picked this one because I think it sounds the most like Lady Valserin, but feel free to make your own judgment calls on that. <laughs> oh yes, I think that sounds very much like her. Her eye color, it's a very bright yellow and green and I love it. Eye size, eye angle, eye separation. Her eye height, eye squint. Believe it or not, eyebrows were actually really difficult for me to decide. And I picked these. I think they're the best. Eyebrow height, eyebrow skew, eyebrow depth, nose shape. And I love her nose shape. Nose height, nose width, nose length, mouth height, mouth curve and lip fullness and I maxed out her lip fullness just to make her smile pop a little more and I didn't want her to smile too much just enough she's all finished so let's zoom out and get a look at our lady Valserin and feel free to name her whatever you want mama Valserin grandma Valserin old lady Valserin just whatever suits you best and I know right now she doesn't look quite like Valserin with her hair down and none of the clothes but trust me guys I'm using hairstyles and makeup to really help make her look like Valserin let me show you real quick I use crown store hair and makeup as well as the Sigic Order motifs to make her look this great. So let me go ahead and show you guys in the outfit station what she looks like. Let's finish up. I use the outfit station to put together Lady Valserin's Sigic Order outfit. And it's all light armor motif pages, but not the hands. The hands are actually Sigic shot gauntlets that I want in the crown crates and I'm super excited about them. They look amazing. But yes, you need the Sigic motifs to be able to make it in the outfit station. And you could grind for it going to geysers or looking at urns and other stuff all throughout Somerset. You could find motif pages, but I'm lazy, so I just went to a guild trader and bought all my pages. But she looks amazing, and I'm using a healing staff, so she looks pretty darn great. And I'm going to treat myself. I saw this Alinor ringtail in the crown store for 700 crowns, and I think it would look great with my character, Lady Valserin, so I'm going to buy it. Yes, it's for me. Yay! Right now she has a kitty, but I like the ringtail. Yes, equipped. Aw, oh, his name is Desperado. Hi, Desperado, you cutie. Oh, I love him. He's adorable. I saw one in Arteum a while back, and I really wanted one. So I'm glad it's in the crown store now. Yay! 
And there you have it. Lady Valserin is complete. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful for you to make your own Valserin character, please leave me a comment down below because I love hearing from all of you. But guys, I am all out of time for today, but I will see all of you in my next character creation video. Bye, guys!